Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Hope you are doing well. I'm gonna break this one down for you. We're gonna zoom in, uh, learn kind of the, the, the chord pattern, and then work on a little right hand thing. Now it was funny, I saw Paul McCartney the last time he was uh, in my town in San Diego, and he actually, <laughs> when he played this song, he said, oh, I looked at YouTube videos of people teaching this song and playing it, and they're playing it wrong. And uh, I just thought that was funny. Um, so what I did is I basically broke it down by ear so I can teach it the best way I can. So, Paul, I'm sorry if it's not 100%, but I think it's pretty darn close. I know the chords are right and all that. Anyway, we're going to have fun. It's going to sound right. Uh, also, thanks for the support. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what songs you want to learn, leaving comments, liking the video. Come with me on this next chapter. So anyway, let's zoom in. Break this one down, though. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to show you the chords first, and then we'll start working on some patterns here. But right, even with the chords, we're going to be using our, or, yeah, we're going to be using our thumb and our middle finger to pluck or pinch two notes at the same time. And the first one is this one. So I've got my ring finger on the third fret of the low E, and then the open B string. So it's like a G chord. We're just playing with the thumb on the low E and the middle finger on the B. That's our first chord. Then index finger is going to go to the first fret of the B string. And with the thumb, we're going to hit the open A and the middle finger on that B string. So you put those together. And then the next one is kind of like a G again, but it's the second fret on the A string, which is the third of the G. And then the third fret of the B string. I mean, I guess you could call that B minor as well. So we have the first one, the, the third fret and the open B, then the open A and the first fret on the B. Then ring finger goes up to the third of the B and index on the second of the A. Then we take this uh, kind of little index finger as a tracking point and we get up to the 10th fret right there. And then ring finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the B. So 10 on the A, 12 of the B. So everything so far has had our middle finger on the B string. Now with this shape, the next part, you scoot it down so the index is on the third of the A and ring is on the fifth of the B. Three and five. Then we scoot it up to seven on the A, eight on the B. So. Three and five, seven and eight. Then fifth fret on the A and seventh fret on the B. So from this one.
So now we move up to the ninth on the A and the tenth on the B. And these are the only two shapes you're going to see pretty much. So nine and ten. And then we take this exact same shape and scoot it down a whole step. And so then that would be seven and eight. Seven on the A, eight on the B. From the top. Next part. Now this is a cool move. Right now we're currently on the seven of the A and the eight of the B. All I'm gonna do is move my index down a half step. So then you're left with six of the A and eight of the B. So. That's goes down a half step. So when it does that, it's now five of the A and seven of the B. Then up again to the seven of the A, eight of the B. Then, this is kind of the final little cadence here. We have the three of the A and the five of the B, which now it's like a C major chord. So let's do uh, the second part here. Half step down, seven and eight, and three and five. Now this gets fun. This part I like probably playing the most on the song. So it starts on the three and the five. And then that five of the B has middle finger now on the four of the B. So you go, which is like a classic Beatles thing, C major, C minor, but he's doing it with finger picking. So C major, middle finger goes to the four, C minor. Then we scoot that down a half step. Then, the A becomes open, and the middle finger goes to the second fret. Just kind of like a A7 chord or an A chord. So check it out. And then finally, index down to the first. As you can see, it's going... with different bass notes. So you've got open A, second fret of B. And then finally, index finger is what I'm using on the first fret of the B. And then my thumb is the only time it moves over now to the D string, because it's like a D7 chord. So open D, first fret on the B. And then the very first chord I showed you the third, it's the G, so the third fret of the low E and the open B. Now here are the chords from the top. And then it would do that again, but the next section Step down. Ah. Half step down. Open D, first fret B, and the first chord.
So here's a good starting point for the pattern. There, there is also uh, a couple other sections that I'm going to show you uh, uh, as we go. But let's start now making some music. The first chord, and then with our index finger, we can play that open G after that little pinch. Okay, then the next one, we do the same thing. So, next one, we do the same thing. This one, we do the same thing. And so there's a little pattern I'm doing, which is the pinch, then the open G string, just like we did before. Pinch, G, so after the open G, then I hit the thumb on the A string again. Here it is again. They're the same note. After I hit the A string, then I hit the B string, so it looks like this. Again. After I hit the B string, then I go to the A string again, so. Again. Oops, sorry. And the pinch, it, that's the pattern, is pinch, G string, A string, B string, A string. Pinch starts over again. So the next section, you can do the same thing. Now, I was just listening to it again, and I almost feel like he's not hitting that open G string in between. He's... So you could do what I showed you. And then the rest of this walk down is the pattern I was showing you right here. pattern
And so the last chord where it's the same pattern that I was doing up here. But on that final chord, instead of the A string with the thumb, it's the D string. Uh, so. And then on this on these walk-ups, in between you can, it sounds cool, in between you can hit the open G in between each each pinch, you can add the open G for extra flavor. Pattern. Pinch, pinch, pattern. So there's this little thing that happens in between the verses. It's this little turnaround, and it's what we were doing, but it's basically a... So it's the third and the fifth of the B, then the second and the third, so second of the A, third of the B, then the open A and the two of the B, then the open D and the one of the B. And then it starts over. So it looks like this. Then we finally need the uh, with the accoutrement. So that new section where he goes, Blackbird, uh, sorry, Blackbird. I'm not going to sing it. Into the light, I guess I lied. <laughs> uh, I can't resist that part. So it goes like this, which is like an F chord. And it's the, what is that? It's the eighth of the A and the tenth of the B. Then seven of the A, eight of the B. Then that a whole step down which would be five and six, then three and five, then one and three, back up to the three and five, then it starts over again. Eight and 10, seven and eight, five and six, three and five, then one and three, and then it does that normal walk down. Open A and two on the B. Open D, one on the B. And you add that pattern uh, on the certain parts that you need like this. Uh,
So I'm doing that same pattern as this one. On the parts that you see, right here, and then here, and then regular pinches, regular thing now. Alright, that was it. Thanks so much for taking the journey with me. Please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to tell me what songs you'd like to learn or what kind of guitar lessons you'd like, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, subscribe to the channel and all that uh, good juicy stuff. And thank you so much for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it and uh, I've had a great time teaching you guys. So hopefully we'll see you again real soon. Take care.